Hi, in this video, you're going to learn how to brand AVI, Move, or other video files using Adobe Premiere Elements 3.0. Now, the good thing about Adobe Premiere Elements 3.0 is that it not only can brand just AVI files or .move files, it can brand lots and lots of more video files. And the good thing about Adobe Premiere is it doesn't cost as much as Camtasia now. Camtasia can be used for different things and Adobe Premiere is much better than Windows Movie Maker but then again it's a paid tool it's less than a hundred dollars not free but it's cheaper than Camtasia at the same time so depending what you want to do if you just simply want to brand the video then Adobe Premiere Elements 3.0 is probably your best bet so let me go ahead and show you what Adobe Premiere Elements 3.0 looks like so this is what Adobe Premiere Elements 3.0 looks like now do not confuse this tool between the same thing as Adobe Premiere Adobe Premiere Elements 3.0 is a much simpler tool to use even if you're a newbie if if you get it simple tool to use just to create videos or to brand videos for that purpose and let me go ahead and show you what kind of videos you can import into this tool. So if I go to here and I go to files and folders which I'm able to import we can see all the types of video formats and audio and other things like that that we can format. We can do AVI as we could do earlier. We can do SWF JPEGs, MP3s, and I'm just going over the most general files that you might encounter. Uh, MPEGs, PSD, PNG files, QuickTime movie files, which earlier in the Windows Movie Maker program it could not process, mainly because it's a Windows Media type thing. QuickTime movie files, and it can also process Windows Media files. So this is actually a very, very powerful tool that I use in order to create good looking videos, brand videos, things like that. So we'll go ahead and find the ClickBank files. So these are the files that we want to brand. We want to brand the AVI file here and it doesn't matter if it is a WMV a move file or an AVI. If we go ahead and import that, if we go to Adobe Premiere Elements and as we saw the add media function, if you go to this video looking thing, click on files and folders, go to the location where we have that file that you want to brand and Adobe Premiere Elements will begin to add the media and it does it at a faster rate than Windows Movie Maker does so there we see that it's already imported it now I'm gonna make the screen a little bigger so that you can see it better now we can import the picture files that we have made to brand the video now in the previous video in Windows Movie Maker uh, video I showed you how to actually make pictures whether it be an intro screen, an ending screen, or a watermark. Now the nice thing about Adobe Premiere Elements is that you can move the picture around. If it's a transparent picture then you can do and you can do stuff like add text. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna import the files that we looked at previously which was the ending screen and the intro screen and if you don't remember what it looks like the intro was just basically an intro that said clickbank video series sponsored by your name and then the ending was for more information go here so in that case if you don't know how to create these pictures you can use paint to create them and you can always refer back to the specific video on Windows Movie Maker that will actually show you how to use paint pictures or the major concept that you need to understand is when you put a picture in paint 
as long as the picture is smaller than the video size which you can always find out how big it is simply by highlighting it and you can see right here it's 640 by 480 and you can see here the dimensions here is 640 by 480 so as long as your picture is smaller than 640 by 480 then that's fine so let's go ahead and import these and we can see that the intro and ending here has been inserted now here's the beauty of Adobe Premiere Elements it's very quick and very fast so I'm gonna go ahead and insert the intro here then I'm gonna go ahead and insert branded video that we want to brand and that's it we're already done within less than 30 seconds we've already completed now you can add music to this you can add royalty free music and as you can see we have audio already however Adobe Premiere Elements allows you to add several audio tracks so you can add something with music you can make it so different that it's different than other videos now that's the big key selling point here is that if you take a private label video and you just resell it just like everybody else then there's nothing different about that but if you take a video and you take time to actually brand it then of course you make it different than the other videos so now you know how easy it is to use Adobe Premiere Elements to just simply drag and drop the intro video and ending once that is done we want to save that and as you can see it's very quick about that and you can export it as a certain type of movie so you could do this or another way is you can go here and export it you can export it to an MPEG a flash file which is an FLV file you can export it as a QuickTime or Windows Media file in this case we're going to do something like an FLV file just so you can see what kind of options you're looking at so as you can see here you have different frame sizes which basically means how big it is and the bigger you get the bigger the size you get generally or you can make your own you can make an advanced click on advanced and you can make your own quality so with the same concepts you can change the Windows Media to have better quality audio now uh, the one thing I can mention earlier is this if we go up here let's say that you are in a middle let's say that during the video you want to say something like you want to insert some sort of text into here let's say that you want to say something like you want to remind people that they can get your product or something let's say that you have a free report you can say get your free report and if you highlight that right now you can't really see it because it's white but now you can see it because we put it black get your free report and of course we can make it smaller by changing the size so if you do that during the video while the video is playing your viewers are actually going to see this appear on top of the video so there's different things that you can remind people of during the video or in the middle of the video so that you keep their you know interest going but at the same time you don't wait till the end to promote your product or you know do that so that's a good technique with using Adobe Premiere Elements and if you like to add pictures or other text, you can do so. So in that case, let's go ahead and save it. We'll export the file as QuickTime.move file. Now, if you just want to choose the regular ones like this, that's fine too. So let's go ahead and press OK, and we'll save the file. 
to the specific location that you want it to be saved at. So once we're done with that, we click on save. And this process does take some time. So you can just walk away and come back later, do something else. So let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit here. Now that the Adobe Premiere Elements 3.0 tool has finished saving the file, we can actually go ahead and view it. So what we're looking at right here is that just now the Adobe Premiere test.move file has been created. Let's go ahead and run that file to see what it looks like. So as you can see here, this is what it looks like. Now remember with YouTube and other video sites is that when you initially view the video you're going to see the beginning parts of the video. So that's why it's important to have some sort of introduction screen as shown here. So if we go ahead and view this video, this Clickbank video series, we will be going over four different no matter if you sell 10, 20. So if you remember we added a text onto the video and let's go ahead and look for that text so you can see what it looks like. So as you can see here, here is the clickbank.com main front page. So as you remember, we put the get your free report at www.whateveryourdomain.com is. And in that tent, you're able to capture your viewers when they're viewing the video. You can remind them of certain things, of free reports that might deal with that same subject. Now, that's the beauty of Adobe Premiere. 3.0 is that you can do a lot of stuff without dishing out a lot of money. Now Camtasia can do so much more now however it does charge $300 versus Adobe Premiere can cost less than $75. If you get on eBay you probably could get it for less about 60 or less dollars. So now you can see the power of Adobe Premiere now at the end of course we have our ending screen so we have an intro an ending screen and now you know how to insert text anywhere on the branded video now that you know how to do that you can do it again and again and again in the next few tutorials we're going to show you how to actually take what you learn how to take the branded videos that you created and put it on an actual web page.